In a statement published on StarWars.com, Lucasfilm has announced that Ryan Johnson, the writer-director of Star Wars The Last Jedi, will create an all-new Star Wars trilogy. He will not only write and direct the first installment, but will conceive and craft the entire arc of the series. In the statement, Lucasfilm notes that this new trilogy will be separate to the Skywalker saga, meaning that these will not be episodes 10, 11 and 12, and will be more in line with the current Star Wars story spin-off films. The statement reads that Johnson will introduce new characters from a corner of the galaxy that Star Wars lore has never before explored. Whether they mean in film or in general is anyone's guess. I mean, Lucasfilm always have a sneaky and misleading way of wording their statements. So what the hell are these three movies going to be about? Something completely new or something from the canon that's been explored in the EU but never on film before? Here are my top five possibilities for Johnson's new Star Wars trilogy. An Obi-Wan Kenobi Trilogy Ever since Disney announced the Star Wars story film, Star Wars fans have been begging Lucasfilm for either an Obi-Wan Kenobi solo film or a solo trilogy. In a perfect world, this proposed trilogy would focus on Obi-Wan during the years between episodes 3 and 4, a period in which Kenobi is living a life of recluse on Tatooine, keeping away from the watchful eye of the Empire while trying to protect Luke Skywalker from a distance. At the end of episode 3, Yoda tells Kenobi that in his exile, he'll learn to communicate with Jedi's past, opening up the possibility for the return of Qui-Gon Jinn in Force Ghost form. The films would preferably star Ewan McGregor reprising the role as an older, wiser Kenobi, as he continues to learn his way with the Force. In fact, McGregor has gone on the record in multiple interviews expressing his interest in returning to the role. There's roughly a 20 year gap between episode 3 and 4, and with 12 years having passed since episode 3's theatrical release, perhaps 14 or 15 by the time filming would get underway, McGregor would be seemingly the right age to play a version of the character that sits snugly between his previous portrayal and Alec Guinness's in the original trilogy. Recently, the Star Wars comics have explored this time period in a series of one-shot excerpts from the Journal of Old Ben Kenobi, as has the Star Wars Rebels series, which featured a battle between Kenobi and Darth Maul. Earlier this year, The Hollywood Reporter ran an article where they confirmed that Lucasfilm was allegedly in early development on this project. Whether this is the same project that Johnson is now attached to, or something completely different, only time will tell. A Doctor Aphra Trilogy One of the most popular characters in the new Star Wars Expanded Universe is Dr. Shelley Lona Aphra. Aphra is an archaeologist, who along with her two assassin droids, BT and Triple Zero, and her Wookiee mate, Kranz... Kranz... Uh, Kranzden, 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 yeah. I don't know how to, I don't know how to pronounce that. Well, along with those guys, she scavenges ancient sites around the galaxy for Jedi and Empirical artifacts that she can auction off in not-so-legitimate markets. Aphra's arc began in Kieran Gillen's Darth Vader series, which takes place soon after A New Hope, when Vader enlists her help to steal a bunch of credits for him. Against her wishes, she agrees to help, and throughout the arc she struggles to get out of his clutches. Eventually she does escape and goes off on her own adventures in her own comic series, a couple of which see her crossing paths with Luke, Han and Leia. Aphra is basically an anti-hero who works for or with the highest bidder, no matter what side they're on. She's a strong and feisty female in the same vein as Rey, Jyn Erso, or even Princess Leia, but with a little bit more bite and a much larger chip on her shoulder. The Lucasfilm story team, which has been developed to make sure the new canon is handled smoothly, with no overlaps, timeline issues, or need for retcons, have made it clear in the past that they're not against bringing characters from the TV series and comics into the movies, as so beautifully demonstrated with the appearance of Clone Wars character Saul Guerrero appearing in last year's Rogue One. And add on top of that that there have certainly been rumours, or if anything, murmurings, that Aphra could make the jump to the big screen sometime soon. I think a series of Aphra movies would be fantastic. Imagine an intergalactic female Indiana Jones series set in the Star Wars universe. It would be kick-ass. And I think Johnson would be an awesome candidate to handle this. But then again, that Lucasfilm would want to explore this character on screen while her comic series is still thriving doesn't really seem all that likely. A Ray, Finn and Poe trilogy. Okay, so this one's probably pretty out there, but hear me out. Even though Lucasfilm don't plan on continuing the Skywalker saga with episodes 10, 11, and 12, or at least at this moment they don't, it's kind of hard to believe that they wouldn't continue with the adventures of the fan favorite characters they've worked hard at building up over the course of the current sequel trilogy. I can imagine characters such as Rey, Finn, and Poe will have long histories in the Star Wars universe, and while I don't particularly want to see another Skywalker saga trilogy myself, I'm certainly not against seeing these characters' further adventures explored on the screen. 
A new trilogy focusing on these three heroes doesn't necessarily need to be related to the story of the Skywalkers, unless of course Rey turns out to be a Skywalker, but it could simply focus on their further intergalactic adventures. Like I said, this is a pretty out there suggestion and doesn't really fit in line with Lucasfilm's statement that this trilogy will focus on new characters, but it's certainly a possibility as I don't believe Lucasfilm will let go of these profitable characters so soon, I mean unless they all die in episode 9. While Johnson would assumedly have a good grasp on these characters, having written and directed The Last Jedi, perhaps a whole new trilogy focused on these guys would feel a little bit like been there, done that, and less like what Lucasfilm was trying to tell us in their announcement. Maybe this is an idea best explored in a comic series or an animated TV show. Recanonizing the EU Another possibility would see Lucasfilm developing a series of films based on the now decanonized original Star Wars Expanded Universe. While Lucasfilm have started with a clean slate with their new films, dismissing everything from 40 years of expanded canon as simply legends, there's no reason why Lucasfilm's story team wouldn't consider retconning certain legend stories back into the canon. I mean, recently, General Admiral Thorne, one of the most popular characters from the Legends universe, has once again been canonized in a series of comics, books, and even appearances on Star Wars. Rebels? Could we perhaps see stories of the Old Republic or the New Republic make it to the screen? Could we see some Legends characters become canon again? Or simply see some new characters in stories inspired by classic arcs like Dark Empire or the Knights of the Old Republic or even the Thrawn Saga? A completely fresh trilogy. The final possibility, and frankly the most, well, possible, is simply what Lucasfilm said in their announcement. That Johnson's new Star Wars trilogy will simply be... new. There's no reason Lucasfilm can't continue to explore everything I've laid out above, while at the same time letting Johnson craft a completely fresh and new Star Wars trilogy featuring only new characters, events and locations. Think something like The Force Awakens, but without all of the Skywalker lore. A story starting from scratch, no classic or previously established characters, and nothing but the most basic knowledge of the Star Wars universe required to enjoy the saga. The Star Wars franchise has been getting away with this for years in both books and comics, so perhaps Lucasfilm is now finally ready to make this bold move on the big screen by creating a whole new adventure set in the Star Wars universe, but so distanced that it's really its own thing. Where and when these films will be set is a complete mystery right now, but personally, I'd love to see an exploration of the universe pre-Episode 1. This would be the best possible way to distance this trilogy from the Skywalker saga because, well, none of that would have even happened yet. This way, Johnson gets complete creative freedom and won't feel the need to shoehorn in unwanted cameos, references to past films, and easter eggs for the fanboys like me. Simple, fresh, and new. This is what really gets me excited about this new era of Star Wars. Just as long as I can get my Obi-Wan Kenobi movies too. I mean, I'm free if anyone at Lucasfilm is listening. Please. If you've enjoyed this video today, then please don't forget to hit that like button down below. And of course, hit that big old subscribe button up on your screen right now. This has been Dave Lee, and I hope I'll see you again in the future. Take care, guys, and have a wonderful day.